Hello, in this video I'm going to explain current density, which is almost like an introduction to Ohm's Law. It's how Ohm's Law was derived. Um, current density is defined as the current um, is the amount of current that is passing through a given area, often represented with J. The J isn't a regular J, it's kind of like that, sorts, whatever. And um, current density is equal to the current divided by the area. If you know in a previous video, we can define current as um, NQ um, VD times area. And since we're dividing it by the area, we end up canceling these two out, and that will give us NQVD for the current density if we're trying to find it that way. And um, this will have units of um, amps, because that's what current is, divided by meters squared, because that is area. And um, there's another way in which we can find the current density. And I am not going to drive this, because it's just long and tedious. And um, most textbooks don't. I have three different textbooks I looked at, only one did. Um, that's from the 1950s. So here's this. The current density is also equal to some constant, which is, uh, I forget what that symbol is, but whatever, um, times the electric field. And this ends up being a relative constant for metals. Um, think of copper, it will be like a con it'll be a constant, and uh, this will be used later in Ohm's law. Um, this is called the conductivity of the conductor right here, and the current it is as units of um, the current density divided by the electric field. So when we multiply it by the electric field, we end up getting current density, which is right there. And this ends up being a relative constant in most uh, uh, metals, which is what makes Ohm's law work. And uh, I'm going to go in a little bit into Ohm's law now. And we know that the change in potential is equal to the electric field times the length from a previous video. And we also know that the current density is equal to the conductivity times the electric field. And that is equal, if we, you know, um, set these equal to each other, that is equal to um, conductivity constant, change in V divided by L. And if we, you know, keep working with that, J is equal to IA, which is the current divided by the area, which is right above. And that it was the change in V is equal to L divided by the conductivity constant. Um, times j. And if we take j and, you know, if we do this, uh, conductivity or the current density is equal to the area um, is equal to i, we get, um, or can get, that l divided by the conductivity times the area um, times I. Actually, we didn't need this here. I don't know what I was thinking. And that is equal to Ri. So now we have the change of potential across a uh, conductor or a wire is equal to the, the resistance times I. Resistance is in units of ohms and I'll go more into that later and this right here is essentially Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the resistance is equal to the change of potential divided by the um, current and this will have units of amps and volts and ohms and um, there is a, uh, I'm just going to go into a couple of other little quick things. The, we can create resistors using this law for um, conductors and essentially this is the basis of all circuitry and um, resistivity which all the books go over I just don't know if I want to make a whole separate video for this um, uh, 
is equal to uh, this row right here. And row is equal to 1 divided by the um, conductivity, which is a constant. And it'll be the same in like a copper wire for all copper wires roughly, depending how pure it is, and gold and silver and most um, metals. And the resistance, if you need to do these problems, is equal to rho L divided by A, which is essentially right here, which is the same as right here. Because um, this is just like 1 over right there. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. I'll post uh, some PDFs on my website, and I hope I can help you out some more. Again, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post. And I could even upload a more descriptive video if you guys feel this doesn't help you enough. Just comment on the video, and I'll try to add some things. Thank you for your time. Welcome soon.